Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to be reviewing uh, the banh mi shop called Nam Phong here in Bankstown. Um, actually, it's my first time trying this. Uh, I believe I've tried it in the past, but I can't really remember. So let's uh, have a look. So here we have uh, the banh mi. Looks uh, pretty decent and the filling looks uh, just about right. Let's try. Wow, the bread is on point for crispiness and the moment you take the bite you get the feeling of the carrots and the chicken Careful man, the bread might eat it And uh, these freaking crows are gonna steal our second <laughs> meat sandwich so um, So far so good, um, it's a bit light on the mayo and the pate but I guess I have to dig in more to arrive at the flavours but so far so good Yeah, it's decent. I guess it's your turn to try it now, yeah? Alright. So it's my turn to try this, yeah? Yep. Alright, So you say they're lacking the mayo and the pate? Uh, mine was lacking uh, pate and mayonnaise, oh. but probably because it was the first bite. Oh. But maybe when I dig into it, there might be more explosion of flavours. The bread is crunchy, bro. Yeah, as I suspected, it's crispy, yeah? Mm. And the chicken has good flavouring, bro. Yeah. It has those um, Asian flavouring barbecue. Yeah? Yeah. The chicken, right? Yeah, the chicken. Yeah, let's have a little bit closer look at the sandwich. Okay, yeah. Wow. That's hectic. Look at the filling, yeah, awesome. You like chili, don't you? Yeah, I do. That's why my mom has chili. You take your own one there. Yeah, I took mine out. Yeah. But I mean, it's good enough. But the chicken's really nice, eh? Hey? Mm. How does this compare to the one in Marrickville? The the popular hole in the wall uh, pork roll. I don't know. But I used to live in Marrickville. Yep. And I eat it a lot as well. Yep. But I prefer this one here. You prefer this one, yeah? Because it's not overfilling, bro. It's not overfilling, right? It's not spilling out. Yeah. And uh, the amount of everything is just right, bro. It's just perfect, eh? Yeah, no, no feeling, man. I don't like other feeling. Nice, nice, nice. All right. And the, Anything uh, else you want to add? Vegetables. Yeah. It's uh, pretty average standard everywhere else. Yep. For pork roll. What about the chicken? Is there enough chicken in there? Yeah, there's enough chicken. All right, perfect. And um, the price is four fifty. Four fifty cheaper than Marigold one, yeah? Yeah, but not as much as feeling as a Marigold one, but. But say, if you want to eat flavoring, you should What about size wise? Is the bread uh, is the same size as the one in Marigold? Yeah. Similar size, yeah? Uh. But which bread do you prefer? This one, yeah? What do you like about it? Is it just the crispy texture on the outside? Mm. Yeah, I think so. Alright, man. Enjoy it. Eh? Time to eat. How much would you. I'll rate it, this one. Pork roll. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, yeah? I'll give mine uh, 8 out of 10 as well. Yeah. Which is worth, worth the money, bro. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's uh, worth the money. Alright, see ya. Hi guys, we're here at Kongtown Van Fat and we're reviewing the drink Sam Bao Wong. Um, from what I can gather, this drink has got uh, some seaweed, lotus seeds, dried logans, barley, jelly and dates. And it's slightly topped with uh, a syrup and shaved ice. Um, so here we go. First bite. So we can see a big, big ass logan piece right there. Wow. Let's try to drink. My initial uh, verdict on this drink is it's, it is sweet but not overly sweet. There's a right balance of, of flavor and textures. I really like uh, the what do you call them? The, the, the 
seaweed and uh, the dried barley, it, it serves a this great texture when you eat it in your eye. And the color kind of looks appealing as well. Overall, I'll give it a 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, really? In your turn. Hello guys, um, today I'm going to be reviewing the um, broken rice with pork chops uh, in Vietnamese, it's gum bum. So um, this place is self-proclaimed, it's the uh, best pork chop in Sydney, so I'm going to be trying it out today. Okay, let's go. Alright. Um, first, what I'll do is I'll always push a fish sauce first, that's how I ate it. Yeah? Just put it on the egg and the rice. Put it all over the meat. Ah, oh, okay, is that how you eat it? Yeah, that's Good. how I eat it. Right. People have different um, ways of eating it, but this is how I like to eat it. Okay. Because the sauces will be all over the dish. Yep. Yeah. Um, first, I'm going to try the egg. Wow, look at that. The egg just bursting with flavor. Mm. The egg tastes nice. Yeah, it cooked well. Mm. What's that thing in the center? This one? Yeah. Shredded pork. Shredded pork, okay. I'll be trying that too. Yeah. Usually it's just generic, bro. It tastes the same everywhere else. Yeah. Good too? Good taste how shredded pork should be like. Perfect. We're on a roll here. Steam pork. What's that called? I think it's steam pork. Steam pork, okay. Yeah. Yep. Good too? Tastes better than most other restaurants. Like excellent. Here. So this 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 review so far is getting all thumbs up. It's excellent. Well we're waiting the for only, the uh, negative part is here. We have to start with the negative too, man. What's 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 up with this? The cabbage. What's wrong with the cabbage? The side dish cabbage, usually we don't use cabbage in this dish. What do you use? I think they're cutting costs by using cabbage. What do you usually use? Radish and Radi carrot. Oh, really? Yeah. And soak it in vinegar. Okay. For this one, they didn't use cabbage to save costs, I think. Oh, okay. Mm. That's the minus point. Uh, getting to the resistance, the pork chop, that's the main star of the dish. Yep. This is the main star of the dish. So far. If this one's failed, it's all failed. Bro. What do you think? Is it cooked? Well, so far, yeah. From the outside, look well cooked. All right. Check on that tender pork. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's tender, bro. From the looks of it, we'll find out. They self-proclaim as being the best pork chop in Sydney <laughs> for yeah, Vietnamese right. pork chop. Let's find out. You want to go for another dig? I don't know man, the flavouring is lacking me, for me bro. Oh really? Yeah, it's not overpowering but yeah. it's, it's not there either. Mm. So it's the a miss. The pork is well cooked, yeah. Alright. The pork is well cooked but the flavouring is not there today. Alright. So, they've under delivered on the pork. Yeah. What about the soup? What's this? It comes with soup. What kind of soup is that? Um, pretty off, much offer everywhere at every other restaurant bro. Just chicken soup? I think it's made out of... Beef bones? Beef bones, is it? Yeah, a lot of MSG. Beef broth, oh wow. A lot of MSG. Can you taste the MSG in there? Wow. Um, Alrighty, you done? So I have to rate all this? Yeah. All together? I'll give it a seven and a half. Yeah? All together, seven okay. and a half. Okay. But if the pork was been has it been like in the past, I would have to give it an 8 or a 9. Wow. But yeah, it's been let down. All I right. probably going to change the owner or something. Alrighty. Yeah. Alright, let's call it a wrap. Well let's done. Wrap it up. Enjoy. I'm having the three color sensation of Vietnamese um, dessert, which is, consists of uh, all sweet stuff. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it consists of these like green things. What are those green things? Is that... I think it's made out of floor. <laughs> Okay, 
flour, right? Flour, yeah. Flour, yeah, flour. Yeah. And red beans. And I think uh, green. Green beans. Yeah. And they have peanuts in there as well. Wow. That doesn't look like a drink. It looks like more like a freaking dessert. It is a dessert, right? Yeah, wow. It is a dessert drink. Coconut. The coconut juice is just right. Yep. And the flavoring for this um, drink is um, pretty good. So it hit the balance. Yeah. Balance nicely. Perfect. And the, the the peanuts bring up the strong flavoring. Yeah. What's this called in Vietnamese? The the actual drink itself. Yeah, bao mao. Uh, what do you think about the flavoring and the the color and the textures? Um, the color, the texture, and the taste is hit the balance perfectly. Yeah. Wow. Um, I can't fault this one. Oh wow, so yeah, yeah, it appears as though the drink uh, here at this place uh, is much better than the, <laughs> pork chops. the, the, the proclaimed, self-proclaimed best pork chops in uh, Sydney, the mm. best Vietnamese pork chops in Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so... They have a better dessert. Their dessert range, is much yeah. better, so they should change their, their, their logo or their title as the best uh, dessert drinks in, 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 in Sydney. <laughs> well, uh, I have tried them lots of places, but this one is pretty good. So at least we can say that... Uh, we didn't leave disappointed. Uh, we we left with a, ha a smile on our faces, uh, and it's all thanks to this drink. Yeah, definitely these drinks. These Mine drinks, yeah, yeah. With, yeah, this drink as well. But well, yeah, and overall, uh, overall, uh, I'm satisfied that I'm here. Yeah. But uh, and also, if you have have been in here before or have tried the food in pork shops here before. Please leave the comment down below and I will not be reading them. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh.